Hello and welcome to the presentation of our SLR tool. This tool helps you to manage your systematic literature review and it's based on the publications of Barbara Kitchenham. In this video, I will present an SLR tool with two big things for you to take away. First of all, the SLR tool can manage the lifecycle of the SLR process. Second of all, the SLR tool supports you in the search for keywords exclusively in the title, abstract, or the keywords linked to the paper. The SLR tool focused on the lifecycle of the SLR process. For this purpose, the SLR tool empowers you to manage, to organize, and to qualify the search results from the search engines. I will show you the SLR tool in detail in the next few minutes. First, you have to log in to the SLR tool. The idea behind the start screen of the SLR tool is to give you an overview of your projects. Here you can find your projects and the projects of your colleagues who share the project with you. Now I want to show you an example of the entire process of an SLR. The process starts by creating a new project. Here you can type in the name of the project and a comment. At this point, the project is created. The next step is to import the research results from search engines. For example, I navigate to ScienceDirect and search for SLR and Management. I export the search results in the BibTeX format. Back in the SLR tool, I add a new import file and insert the search result. After this, I can import the search results by clicking on the import button. Now the SLR tool imports the file and checks whether they are duplicate entries. Back to the project, you can see all the imported papers. Every paper is listed with its title, keywords, authors, journal, and so on. One issue at this point is that some search engines don't export the abstract of the paper. Furthermore, the format of the author's names is quite different from each search engine. To solve that issue, you can use the function update from Crossref. This function adds missing abstract of the paper and updates the format of the authors. At this point, you can open the paper by clicking on the DUI link, the Digital Object Identifier. This opens the paper directly from the digital library. Another way to open the paper is the Open Paper button. This opens the paper within the SLR tool. It shows all the necessary information you need. There are additional fields you can fill out to qualify the paper for your SLR. These fields are customized and can change in the Settings section of the SLR tool. Now we have a complete list of papers for the SLR. At the top of the list, you can see tiles with a different number of papers. This represents the status of the papers. The idea behind this is to represent the lifecycle status of the papers in summary. You can set the status of the paper by clicking on the button Include by the title, Exclude or No Access. The paper moves from one status to the next status. And the last status is after scan content. This means that the paper will be included in the SLR. There are two status points that have to be described in more detail. Complete list and working list. These two status points are developed to solve the problem by searching only within the title, abstract and keywords with the search engines from the digital libraries. They are often not able to limit the search for title, abstract and keywords. To solve this kind of problem, you can use the function extended search in the SLR tool. This function will limit the complete list from the digital libraries to a working list. So you can search with the full text option in the search engines and limit the search results in the SLR tool to the title, abstract and keyword. In this video, I have presented our SLR tool to manage the life cycle of an SLR and conducting an SLR. Furthermore, the SLR tool can give you a solution to search only for title, abstract and keywords. From our point of view, these 
two big things are the essential range of function that you need to conduct an SLR. We hope you enjoy the presentation and the SLR tool is valuable to your SLR.